In the interest of science, I'm going to make it rain. I want to make some special effects for my drum kit. And then I want to film it. And then I'm going to stick it on YouTube. Don't do that on stupid camera. This is one of my ideas. I would like to create a rain bar that circles round the drum kit and rains on command. Or the rain's going to come down like a curtain in front of the camera. I don't know why I didn't do this any sooner. It's going to look pretty epic. We are in the workshop today building obscene contraptions. Welcome to Lamb Drums. <laughs> Now then, lamb drums, I'm going to need a container to put water in. I've got this one, but I don't think it's quite big enough. It's going to run out quickly, and uh, I really need some pressure behind it. Let's see what we can find. I can't even get water in. Still not big enough. Nope. Still not big enough. I wonder. I've only gone and got myself a fresh water container. Firstly, I've sat it on this pallet to lift it up, give us some room to play with, to put all the instruments on, and also allow the water to flow downhill. Okay then, so next on the list, we need a water pump. If there's not enough pressure, the water isn't gonna flow all the way down the tube, and it's gonna look a bit of a mess, really. If you should wonder where the water is going, it will be disappearing down towards the center of the earth. So we're doing this on a budget. I don't wanna go and splash out on a big mechanical pump and a motor to drive it. So, got me thinking, what could I use? What's in most household homes that I might have one? Something I've kept for a long time, Everyone's moaned at me for keeping on to it. Why do you need it? Here we are, genius brainstorm. Ideally, we would need two of them, so I've gone and got myself another. And what do you know, the second pump arrived. black thingy to go into the metal for My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is also Jeff. I do not know what I'm doing, so I'm going to go see expert professional about Jeff. So I've got an adapter that will fit on my container. Then I'm going to put this valve on with a spring load on. So every time I let go of the string, it will close the valve. It's all the way up there. We can control it without having to have any electrical sound noise. Just a piece of string and a spring. It's just a cheaper way than getting into electrical mechanics. Now, allow me to make light work of this container. For Scotland! Please! Yes! Oh. Sorry. Oh. I'm, I'm so, so strong! strong. Okay, so the frame now supports itself. We'll see how it hangs. So here we have the rain bar fully supporting itself. Before I drill all the holes in the bar, I'm going to put the pumps on, see what flow we've got, to see what sort of spacing I need and hole size. After all, we're only dealing with swimming pool pumps. This is a trial run to see how much pressure we can get out of two swimming pool pumps, and then I'll drill the holes after once we've seen what happens. Go! Oh, 
close the holes. All the holes are drilled, the water's filled, a bit of extra paint to cover up all the scratches. We're going to connect these pipes up and then we're away. Obviously, we're going to need some electricity to get this to run. Just listen to all that power! This is the test run brought to you by Lamb Drums. Yeah. That is much better than I thought it was going to be. I could probably afford to put a few more holes in it. Let's see just what she can do then. Lamb drums. 